Olo Rito be shattered. As in they said, she, she, she scatter place everywhere with cries. When KBSC sees the only, I mean the only palace of Ishaka that she is using. And this is as a result of disobedience. You know, from the look of things, it looks as if she is, she wants to challenge KBSC. She wants to tell KBSC that, look, you cannot say, you cannot tell me what to do and I will do it. That is what it looks like. After all that KBSC have done for this lady. Because KBSC have given her a comfortable life. A life that she have, as in, I don't even know if I'm to say that she never dreamed of. Yes, even though she, if, anyway, anyway, maybe she have been dreaming of it, but they say KBSC have made her life very sweet and beautiful. But she wants to pay KBSC back with disobedient, arrogant, and uh, name it. So, according to the information, despite everything that KBSC have done to see that she leaves that palace, that uh, she went to uh, uh, live in the Olori quarters. They said after all of that, KBSC was able to move her to the Olori quarters. Then KBSC left to uh, Lagos for a conference like that. Then only for her to return back to the palace and went back to the same place that she left to the Olori quarters. And they said that that space is too small. It's not even conducive for her and the babies. And KBSC intentionally gave her that place that day that she was welcomed into the palace to stay there and prepare so that the next day she will be moved to the Olori quarters where they made provisions for her. They said she returned back. And KBSC was very angry when KBSC got the information that she had returned. Even to the point they said when the information got to KBSC, KBSC had to send the message across telling her that he don't want to see her in that palace when he returned. But yet, he was there until KBSC returned. So they said KBSC get pissed off. KBSC was so irritated over her behavior. And information have it that KBSC is even regretting welcoming her back to the palace. You know that KBSC don't want to welcome her. But the pressure was so much. Everyone was begging. KBSC, please. KBSC, if not for anything, for the sake of the twins and everything. When Queen Naomi gave birth to Tade Nikawa, it was just 21 days. 21 days, KBSC welcomed when Naomi and Tade Nikawa back to the palace. And we did not hear dramas, problems, challenging the king and everything. But her own, six months, I don't know what her problem is. Maybe she's angry because KBSC did not welcome her when he ought to and all of that. I don't know. I don't know. But information happened that KBSC have seized the only car. And the thing is that I don't blame, blame some people when they say that her mission in the palace is to get a share of KBSC's wealth and property. Because we heard that she have two cars that she is driving. She's driving one car. When she got pregnant, from what we heard, though, for those of you who come and tell me, don't say pregnant, pregnant to what? I do not know. I am just telling you what I hear. They say when she was pregnant, KBSC bought a bigger car for her. So that when she gave birth, uh, the car will accommodate her and the babies and the nannies and everything. Yes, and that is because KBSC cares a whole lot. You see... KBSC loves Queen Naomi so dearly, but KBSC care for all of these women. He makes sure that they are comfortable. He makes them feel comfortable in his palace. But because they keep disrespecting him, they keep letting him down at every given opportunity. That is why it seems as if they are not enjoying that marriage. If only they will respect their husband and be coming down, they are going to enjoy that marriage. But from the look of things, someone like uh, Olori TikTok, with all of this information we are hearing, like I said, she might be Heading to the fourth husband, though. Mm -hmm. And by then, her people will have to take her to the village and find out uh, which of the oracle in their village is doing her. Uh -huh. But let's not go there. Maybe we'll talk about that later. So, they say why she was coming back from Ikoi. Those two cars that she have, KBSC was expecting that, okay, they, they use flights to come back, yes. But at least her driver, because they said that when KBSC bought that car for her, KBSC also gave her a driver. Just be listed. They say KBSC gave her a driver so that she will not be stressing herself driving while pregnant from what we heard or ahead. So instead of that driver to bring maybe one of the cars back to the to Ileife or the second one because KBSC's intention, KBSC's intention is that they are not going back to that Ikoi. Even if she wants to go there, maybe the house will be there anytime she travels or if there is something that will take them to... Uh, Lagos, they can go there and stay and pass the night and maybe some days they will come back. 
that is what Kabiesi have planned for them all here. But you know that Kabiesi is planning, she's planning her own. There was this particular car in the palace that they say she had been eyeing that car. That is official car. That, that uh, pa, uh, car in the palace, they say it's very, very expensive. And she had been eyeing that car. She have her own. No? She have two. Hey. So when she returned without coming back with any of her cars, uh, that particular car in question, they said is a Mercedes Benz. You know, uh, some said it's 2022 20, model. I don't know. So, uh, from information, have it that this uh, princess Adewamewa is presently in that palace right now because this is summer period. So, she's enjoying her summer in the palace. You know, she studies abroad. That princess Adewamewa, the one that looks like Kabiesi very well, that is Kabiesi's carbon copy. So, that car has been assigned to uh, princess Adewamewa. That anywhere she wants to go, maybe she wants to go shopping, she wants to go and, uh, you know, look around. That a driver should carry her with that car. So the driver had been using the car to carry uh, Princess Adewa Miwa. But the moment Toby entered, they said she went and started using that car. And while she was using that car, they said, the, if, if, even if the girl wants to go anywhere, she will have to wait. At some point, uh, Olori TikTok colonized that car. And nobody was dragging it with her because they, they noticed that she did not come back with her own car. Maybe her mission was to drive the car, drive it, and before you know it, the car belongs to her. <laughs> I don't know. So they said, that is the car she had been using. And KBSC did not say anything because they, find, they know that uh, she'll be needing help and she cannot be trekking with the kids and everything. But because of her attitude because of her disobedience, because of her challenging the king, because she is actually challenging the king. When a king will say, do this, you will say, no, lie, lie, I cannot do it. What are you doing? Is it not challenging the king? So you are challenging the king. The king who makes you who you are or who... Ah, the say Kabiesi got angry and decided to seize that car. Kabiesi told her, if you like, trek. If you like, carry the babies, carry the one at the back, carry one at the front to be trekking. is none of my business. Because at first, KBSC did not say anything when she colonized the car and stopped the, the beautiful princess, Adewa Miwa, from using the car. KBSC did not say anything because he doesn't want her to suffer either. So, but with this attitude from her, KBSC have seized that car and they assigned it back to princess, Adewa Miwa, and warned that nobody, no one should touch that car again. And right now, they say she is helpless. She is helpless and she is crying. Saying that KBS is mean, that Quenom is this, that um, Dr. Elizabeth is that, that they are her problem in the palace. I don't know why she keeps blaming Quenom and Dr. Elizabeth for her misfortune in that palace, whereas she is the one causing it for herself through her bad attitude. Anyway, guys, don't forget that these are all alleged information. Always remember, they are all rumors, speculated information. They are not for stand information. Always bear that in mind. Thanks for watching. Please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel and share my video. I love you guys. Bye. See you.